what's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the new T9 5Q Android TV box. Now this box is running the brand new SoC S905 X2 with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You do have dual band Wi-Fi AC with 100 megabyte LAN, Android 8.1 Oreo and 5.1 surround sound. So this box has a unique round design and if we have a look at the ports we have USB 2, USB 3, an AV port, a power socket, 100 megabyte LAN port, HDMI out, optical out and a micro SD card slot. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. And inside the box you will find your usuals, a remote control power socket, HDMI out and an instruction manual. Now to give you an idea of the size of this unit I will bring in the Xiaomi box. Now this is how they fare side by side. You can see that the T95Q is much thicker and overall much bigger in size. So now I'm going to get this box hooked up to my TV and capture card and we are going to find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. So as usual, first of all we ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 28 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So here is the colourful home screen for this TV box. We have a simple and familiar design. This is Android 8.1 Oreo. All the large icons are fixed and cannot be changed. However, the small row of icons at the bottom can be customised with your favourite apps. Now if we have a look at system settings and head straight over to the system storage info, you will see that this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which you have 24 gigs free to use. And a quick look in about you will see that this is running Android 8.1 Oreo. Now let's go ahead and check out the system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet. These are your default apps and you have quite a few apps to get you started such as Netflix, AppToy TV, you've got Google Chrome, you've got Airpin Pro and the Google Play Store. So there is no Miracast available on this box but you do have Airpin Pro which is AirPlay screen mirroring for iOS devices. And I did test this out with my iPhone 7 and it was quick and easy to connect and I was able to mirror my phone screen with no lag or issues. So AirPlay does work great but unfortunately there is no Miracast. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and we are going to do this from the KD Media Player which is more or less Kodi Media Player. But you can uninstall this version and install the official Kodi if you wish to do so. So that was 4K videos, let's move on now to the YouTube test and this TV box is capable of streaming a maximum of 4K on YouTube. Yeah, you turn up, is that all you're taking? That's all I have. Hello, Suti. I love you, Minnie. I know you do. From Minos to Escape Rooms. You're the, the first, first to escape, escape our most immersive, immersive room, room yet. yet. And win a million dollars. Any man here that wants to walk away can do so knowing they're the best of us. This gotta be now. We have a suit. But you'll need a partner. This is our town. It's a close knit community, the kind of place where everyone knows everyone. Hi, Miss J. Hey, how are you, girls? And we're always. Moving on now to the gaming performance test, beginning with PUBG Mobile.
Now for you advanced users, this box supports Google Widevine level three. It does come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 48 and upload speeds of nine megabits per second. So we nearly achieved our top speed of 50 megabits per second. So here are your benchmark scores, beginning with Geekbench and followed up with the Antu 2 benchmark test result. So there you have it guys, that was the new T9 5Q. Here are my thoughts on this TV box. So you have a great performing CPU, which is the S905X2, so the power and performance is there. But they also combined a very good stable version of Android Oreo, and you now have yourself a great performing device. Now this box plays all 4K videos at 60 frames per second, nice and smooth. You also got support for YouTube 4K, and Netflix and Amazon Prime are also working fine at 480p resolution, but the key word there is they are working fine. Now the only letdown is the lack of Miracast. Other than that, this is a great all-round device. So that brings us to my top Android TV box chart of 2019, and all devices are now ranked by rating out of 10. So this year we are no longer ranking devices by benchmarks, instead all devices will be evaluated and given an overall rating out of 10. Now we're doing this as in the past we had some high performing boxes that did not deserve to be ranked so high as they were flawed in other areas. So this time we'll give you a better overall rating and ranking for all the new TV boxes. So as you can see the T9 5Q has achieved an impressive 8.5 out of 10 and therefore ranked position 4 on this chart. Now you can view all my full charts online at chigstech.com and read them at your leisure. So bottom line, here is a device which offers super bang for your buck. To achieve this type of performance at only $53 is unheard of in the TV box world. It's a great sign of what's to come and it's a great start to 2019. So pick this up with no regrets or wait to see what's next. Links will be in the description for you guys to check out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.